After our previous events, things had gotten back to normal for our young hero. He had a friend and a Pokemon named Mew. The two would spend a lot of time together and soon became inseparable. Like brothers, almost. Mew practically started living with Ash and his mom. However, Mew didn't like many people, so it would always shy away when others were around. Especially Go, since he had declared he wanted to capture Mew and beat Strainer. This resulted in some, often, goofy moments. On the other side of things, it got bad. Young Grunt was getting more and more impatient. He needed something. What that was, he wasn't sure, at first. But soon while doing his job he realized revenge was all there was on his mind. He came up with a plan. To recapture the prisoner, he let escape, and gain his boss's trust. However, finding said prisoner seemed to be a challenge with the hideout's recent move and the fact that his boss sent him on a lot of missions far away from their old hideout. His impatience and lust for revenge soon turned to hatred. Not only did he blame his boss, the assassin, himself, but also our young hero. Time passed for both our hero and our grunt. Ash was now almost 11 years of age. The age where trainers get to pick their Pokémon. This is where Chapter 3 begins.
Our young Grunt was met with a choice. Either finish what he came for, or finally letting go of his built-up hatred, his anger, his sadness, his pain. In his mind, there was only one choice. He had to finish what he had started. And so, he pulled the trigger. I know what you're thinking. How can this be our ending? Wasn't our young hero supposed to save the world? Supposed to save all Pokemon? Well, you're right, and he still will. Just not exactly the way you might think. You see, the young hero we were following wasn't the young boy named Ash. It was the creature that had traveled alongside him, and would soon take his place. Mew watched as Ash's mom drowned herself in despair over her lost son. She started losing herself. Mew couldn't bear to see her like that. After all, she had become a mother-like figure to them, since Ash had become like a brother. So Mew knew only one solution, one move, that could help. Transform. From there on, Mew continued to live as Ash. It cheered Ash's mom up a little, but deep down she knew it wasn't Ash. Though, she still continued to live for her newfound son. As time would continue on, the 11th birthday came to pass. Well, the fake birthday anyway. Mew was given an option. Follow Ash's dream, become a Pokémon master in his place, or retrieve back into its own Pokémon life. Mew, seeing as how it helped Ash's mom, decided to do the one thing he could still do. Mew wanted to honor his brother's wishes, and so Mew decided that even though he's gone, Ash could still become a Pokémon master. <laughs>